Hey guys, Anfinum here. And welcome back, Sethling here. And today we're going to be playing Death Swap. And I Death thought swap. <laughs> I thought it would only be fitting to invite the game's original creator to come here and kick my butt at this game. Uh, so, I don't know about that, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to play. Yep, I haven't played uh, in a long time. And uh, one thing that I've been doing lately is actually, I almost forgot to do it, is setting the game rule of natural regeneration being off. So it's more like a UHC style thing. That's something that people have been really digging as of lately. So I just turned it off. So now yeah. our hearts won't regenerate. So yeah. Is, is there like any in my original version? There was like a five second invulnerability after you swapped. Is is that part of this version? Yep, you know? it is. I specifically okay. added resistance so that when the swap happens, you get a little bit of time. So if you spawn in lava, then you got a moment to react to it, <laughs> but not a whole right. lot of time. And like if okay. you spawn me at the top of a tower and I fall immediately, I probably won't die to it. All right, so. sounds good. All right, cool. Uh, feel free to hit the button whenever you're ready to go, and then we'll go into our separate little individual calls. All right. Uh, well, good luck. Good luck to you, good sir. All right, I'm going to go ahead and right-click. Start in the game, and I'm going to mute. Oh, God, I'm, like, stuck. I'm, like, stuck. Okay, I've already lost a little bit of health because I spawned in the ground. <laughs> So, yeah. All right, we're playing Death Swap here. Uh, the lag doesn't last very long. I don't know if he knows that, but okay. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag here. All right, so anyways, guys, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments section if you guys believe that I am going to win or if you believe that Sethling is going to win. Uh, because, of course, I mean, Sethling is the original creator of Death Swap. And, of course, I'm already down to... Uh, uh, you know, half a heart down here. I should probably tell him that the tab menu, tab menu has health. So, yeah, just so he knows. Just just so, like, if you want to monitor the health of the other person, then you can go ahead and you can do that. But anyways, uh, yeah, I have no idea what the strategy is going to be, but we have not made any specific call out to not use lava. So I think this is going to be a no holds barred uh, match. So pretty much just damage the other player as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and let's get everything made as quickly as we can. Oh god, okay. Well, the swap has already happened. Uh, oh, he was already mining up some cobblestone. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and take that. So let's go and let's do that. Let's do that. Man, if, if only there was three of them there. I could have gotten all three. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make... Uh, give me that regular pick. Let's go ahead and let's do that. I want to have like a serious advantage on him if I can. Because, I mean, Sethling plays a lot of UHC as well. You know, the ultra hardcore um, Minecraft stuff. So like... I always notice whenever I'm watching Seth Bling's UHCs is that he's always on top of everything. So I feel like in order to have any chance of this, I need to be progressing really fast. So whatever resources I get, I need to get them really fast. So I'm going to collect a bit of cobblestone here, something like 20 or whatever. And uh, beyond that, once the swap happens, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get as much wood as I can. It seems like we both spawned in like forest biomes or something. So, yeah, um, uh, let's go ahead and let's try and take a look around here. I don't know what it is that I need to get. Like, my brain's always all over the place whenever I start playing this, but I know that I need to get food, at least in some capacity. Oh, God, what's going on down here? Oh, there's wolves and there's iron, and I don't want to let them know that this is here. But maybe I should, hmm. I was thinking maybe I should, like, take note of this area or something. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait, oh, ah, oh, I spawned right on top of it. What a butt. What a butt. Okay, well, he's got that now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this. Actually, you know what? Um, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's do this. He's going to get that iron. He's got kind of an advantage on me now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make myself an axe as well. So that I can get started with collecting some wood here. So, yeah, because that's what I feel like I need to do. All right, he just got a bunch of achievements as well. Okay, so I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and pull the ladder trick on him. You know, just, just something that's nice and quick. Oh, whoa, I almost hit that wolf there. Okay, did he not get this at all? Oh, God, there's already lava here. Um, this ought to be good. Okay, I already, I just took a little bit of damage here. Um, let's see here. Let's see, let's go ahead and let's put this here. I'm just going to try and do, you know, the old classic. See if I can just get him to fall into the lava right away. I'm going to go for something kind of quick. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's go... Just like this, I guess. Maybe maybe see if I can just get him to fall in. You know what I mean? Like, that might be a good idea. Or maybe just, like, get, you know, just sort of... Oh, crap. Um, Let's go ahead and let's mine this up right now. I need to mine it up right this second. Okay, and then what I'm thinking is I'm just going to jump. And I'm just going to jump back and forth, you know? Actually, I feel like... I feel like that will work. I think, I think this is what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm just going to try and lean forward and see if I can get him to fall in or something like that. <sighs> this would be like a super quick game if I managed to pull that off. But anyways, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to chill here. 
I'm kind of curious as to what Seth Bling is pulling off. Or, you know, what, what, what he's going to manage to do. Oh, 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 there's a creeper. Okay, I got that. Done. Oh, oh, he's already dying. <gasps> oh, he's down to three hearts. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, uh, yeah, I think the resistance ate away a little bit while he was making that fall and he couldn't get out in time. Oh, my God, dude. That was awesome. Okay, and I think, you know what I might try and do is I might try and play with this creeper a little bit in order to uh, get the creeper to explode or something like that. You know, th I think that I think this is a good idea. You know, just play with the creeper and the creeper will get the last laugh. I think that would be awesome. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, just, just I'm just gonna play with the creeper. You know, just just cause why not? Why not? And actually, I might leave a little bit of a trap for him as well. And I'm going to like mine that out a little bit. Maybe mine this out a little bit, so that maybe he might wind up looking at it or something like that. Oh god, Ugh, I really, really, I really want the swap to happen like right now. Ooh, ooh, crap. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, nope, nope. Okay, I, 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 I don't know. Nope, don't, don't explode. Please, please, no explode. Oh! He. <laughs> oh, I am so curious as to what happened there. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> Okay, when you fell out of the world, I was a little confused, but I guess that's just the, yep. the game ending. Yeah, so I was trying to perch myself over some ladders. Uh, sorry, on some ladders over some lava. Oh, wow. You probably <laughs> would have gotten me so hard there. It was very close. Uh, so I was trying to get as low as possible on the ladder, but I got a little bit too low, <laughs> and I kind of plunged in. So well, that did you, not work out so well. Right at the end yeah. there, I was trying to play with that creeper that I think you saw, and I was just running around a tree the whole time, trying to like have the swap happen uh, as wow. it's right next to me. So that I was, so yeah, I uh, I actually lured that creeper out, and I was trying to be like facing away from it above ground, mm -hmm. so that when you teleport, when you swapped into my spot, I was hoping that you'd be also be facing away. Does it match your facing direction when you um, swap? I. No, it doesn't. I was actually facing the creeper oh. directly, which I okay. actually didn't know that. I actually would have suspected yeah. Uh, otherwise. Yeah, I guess if you summon an armor stand at a player, it's just going to be facing a fixed direction. If you teleport the armor stand to the player, it'll it'll match their facing direction. So you could, uh, I guess, theoretically make it match kind of like that. But yeah. that's too bad that that trap didn't work out. But you got me pretty good with your lava trap, so... Yeah, I wasn't sure if uh, the amount of time you would fall and then, like, the amount of time you'd be stuck in the lava would be enough or if you would, like, climb out right away. Yeah. So how did you how did you get me stuck above it? I didn't even see. Was there a ladder or something? Uh, no. What I was basically doing is I was just sort of uh, with no block underneath this block right here. Oh, I was just kind of crouching into the corner. Shifting over the edge. Yep. Okay. Because, like, that works, like, 50% of the time. Sometimes you just yeah, kind of... Yeah. It just doesn't work. So, yeah. GG, though. <laughs> Yeah, GG. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom. And my name is Seth Bling. And we bid you all farewell, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much for watching. For watching.